Hello. Uh, this is Zeal. Zeal Williams. You know, I'm back again. You know, I just told you guys, you know, um, I'm supposed to just give you guys a little bit, a little update about what's going on in the White House. You know, because I don't want to go there no more. As a matter of fact, that's, that's, that's a COVID territory right there. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I used to like to go over there back in the day. Not really back in the day, but like, you know, a couple, maybe like last year and stuff like that. But right now, when we have a president that does not believe about how serious this infection, whatever COVID is, man, it's, it's terrible. This, this, this is a president that I, I really, I, back in the day, I had so much respect for him. I thought, you know, you know, he had a good vision for the country and all that, but he doesn't take this COVID thing serious at all. As a matter of fact, he caught the virus. You know, the first lady caught the virus too. As a matter of fact, his son, Donald Jr., has it. His little kid too, Baron, has it. The press secretary, Kelly, that I've been talking too much. I don't really like her like that. You know, she'd be talking a lot. She got it. We're talking about the, 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 his lawyer, Rudy, the former mayor of New York City, got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like everybody in the White House got it. So I'm like, man, I'm not going to go over there because I may catch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, but what I'm saying right now is it's not about anything funny and all that. I'm trying to see that everybody, we can put pressure, you know, in Congress and all that, mostly the Senate, because I know that the, 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 the House of Reps, they ain't no problem. You know, the Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, you know, she, she's pushing for something good. She's a good lady. She's a good leader. You know what I'm saying? So, but we have Chuck Schumer, right? We have Chuck Schumer that is supposed to be the next... As a matter of fact, after this runoff, in general, he becomes a leader. I already know that. I already know that. So I'm just convincing for everybody from Georgia to make sure you turn up and vote. Vote for John and make sure you vote for Phil, the Reverend. <laughs> you know what I mean? That These great people, both of them great. So at least... This money can go around. You know, they're trying to stop people from getting paid. People are suffering because of this pandemic. So you know what? I don't want this video to be too long and all that. So I'm going to, you know, give you guys half of it later. So just, you know, have a great day, night, whatever, wherever you are, in the, con in the country, in the world, whatever. Stay safe. I mean, this COVID-19 is just making things like, you know, different for people. The way we do business now, the way we hang out with friends, you know, it's different. So just stay safe and, you know, like that. So I'll talk to you guys later.